One of the viewport enhancements coming along with Cinema 4D R18 is called SSAO. This is the short term for Screen Space Ambient Occlusion. And this effect can be activated or deactivated in the viewport menu under Options. And then you go to SSAO. And there you see um, you get a much better impression of the orientation and position of objects or where they occluding each other. So SSAO is an effect uh, similar to uh, the well-known ambient occlusion effect in the render settings or as a channel shader and um, it's working in a very similar way. So if you move uh, this uh, blue torus effect uh, object here you see that uh, the contact shadow effect uh, created by SSAO is interactively moving with it. So um, deactivating this torus, uh, you see it a bit better. Each of the spheres in this scene uh, is occluding their neighbors uh, with a with a with an ambient occlusion like effect. So. Um, Let's head over to another place in cinema where you can activate, deactivate or refine this effect. It is um, the menu of the attribute manager and the point mode. And under mode you go to view settings and there you have the possibility to check or uncheck SSAO checkbox and to refine uh, this effect with some parameters you might be familiar with coming from uh, ambient occlusion. So you have the radius and the depth range here which both refer to a 2D or 3D um, range of the effect. So if I turn down the radius you see the effect is slowly disappearing or getting sharper. So let's go back to 50 centimeters and we have the power value here which is uh, something like a, let's say contrast enhancer and of course we have samples in the game and the samples are determining uh, the precision of the SSAO calculation itself. So um, further details are fine details which means uh, is the effect rather bulky or are uh, fine edges uh, taken into account of the calculation and is the effect blurred or is it let's say a dotty effect as you can see here without this checkbox. So this is all about screen space ambient occlusion um, an effect similar to ambient occlusion but at, let's say 2.5D uh, version of it because this is uh, calculated from the point of the camera and it's not a full 3D ambient occlusion as we know it as a shader and a global render effect it's a 2.5D effect. So this is SSA, SSAO a great viewpoint enhancement.